Hey y'all, Captain Shane, Clear Vision Charter, Southeast Louisiana Salt Life Captain. Today, uh, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm fishing some different areas I don't normally fish. I started out for trout this morning. Trout weren't really doing anything, so I decided to go sight fishing for redfish, which is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, so I'm kind of scouting around and doing some sight fish at the same time. So uh, y'all join me. We'll see how we do. I'm filming for YouTube also, but right now I'm throwing a uh, bass assassin, but this is a saltwater assassin. So, as usual, I got a 40 pound Power Pro braid on, a super slick braid on here, and I got a 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. I'm doing y'all blocking the glare of the sun. There's a lot of dark spots on the bottom right here. There's one right there. There's one right there, y'all. Got it. Got it. Pretty good one. Stay hooked up, buddy. That's why I love sight fishing, y'all. It is a blast. I threw it about three feet in front of him. He turned around and swiped it up. Let y'all see that. Decent one anyway. It ain't a giant, but it ain't a small one. Like I said he turned around. I threw about three feet in front of him, y'all, and he turned around, came back and nailed it. So decent size, but you know what? I'm gonna let him go. That's usually about the size I keep. I don't like. I don't keep real giant redfish. I always throw those back. I think I'm gonna let him go anyway, y'all. He was a good, he was a good sport. <laughs> so let's put him back in and try to find some more. So on that fish, there he goes, right up through there. On that fish, I was easy, easing along. You saw how dark he was. I saw a dark spot and it was moving and that was him. So cut my thumb just a little bit on the fish. But it happens. I was trying to he had wrapped he had wrapped my leader line around one of his gill plates. I was kind of worried it was gonna get cut. So that's the reason it took me a second to grab him, because he the line was wrapped around his gill plate. But that was perfect, y'all. He, uh, I saw it. 
of swimming down through there. Like I said, I threw about three feet in front of him. I'm gonna try to reuse this plastic if I can. If not, I got a bunch of them. Um, threw about three feet in front of him. He turned around and swiped it up. <laughs> He turned on it, but he didn't grab it. There he is. Took me a few casts to get him, but I got him. Another big one, I think. He's gonna drag me all over the place. Uh, he's pretty decent size. Took me a few casts, but I got him. I love sight fishing, y'all. <laughs> love it. Well, I love winter time down here in Louisiana. It's winter, I'm sitting here wearing a shirt. And that's it. Come here, buddy. There's another one, y'all. In the mouth. Like I said, I saw him. Took me about three or four casts for him to bite it, but he got it. Alright y'all, one last little thing. My YouTube camera is mounted right above my phone, so. Alright, I'm going to get this one back in the water. He's gone. He wasn't hurt at all. He took off going 90 miles an hour. There he goes, right through there.
two redfish right here, y'all. One of them's pretty big. All right, two of them, one of these ought to bite. Usually when they're together like that, they're gonna be kind of aggressive. There he is. There's one of them. Told you. <laughs> Told you. Told y'all. <laughs> the other one's sitting right over there. Maybe I can catch him after I catch this one. Sorry about that boring stretch back there in that canal, y'all, but it just got unboring. Oh, and it came off. He came off. I apologize about that, y'all. So now I know everybody. Everybody watching on YouTube and on y'all watching on this is probably gonna be like, ah, oh, he didn't have no fish. You can catch him, it don't count. I know how that goes. But it was. Joker came off. Let's see if I can see another one. I came out of this canal and there was two right here. I mean the water is literally just inches deep. And I saw them swimming along, and usually when they're together like that, they're going to be pretty aggressive. So yeah, I threw out there in front of them, and I saw one of them just go down to it, and I just waited until I felt tension set the hook. Real shallow, you know, it's shallower than it is here. It was probably eight inches deep, I don't know. There goes one. Hold on, y'all. Oh, there goes a giant right there. Two of them. Two giants right here, y'all. Golly. Two giant redfish. Giant redfish. Giant redfish. Usually when they're together like that, they're going to be aggressive. Giant, giant redfish. Hold on, let's see. This, this might be the cast. I mean, two giants, y'all. Giant redfish. Those might be full red. Giant, giant red fish, come on. I think he's got it. Oh God! Big fish! Big fish! Oh, it's a freaking black drum! <laughs> it's a giant black drum, y'all! Oh God! I'm gonna be here for a minute. It's a giant freaking black drum. I thought it was redfish from a distance, but it's not. It's giant black drum y'all there was two of them oh lord wait he's coming towards the boat wait till y'all see this big old nasty thing if i can get him in that's why i took a few minutes more to bite it it's a black drum if it would have been a red fish he probably would have smoked it on first cast i can't believe he's coming to the boat 
He can't hardly swim, he's so big. Jeez, I don't know if I can even get him over here. Look at him. Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> Wait till y'all see this fish. Wow, is that right? Twenty six pounds. Well, twenty twenty. Okay, it stopped at twenty seven pounds, y'all. Twenty seven pounds. <laughs> Y'all see him? 27 pounds. Just caught him sight fishing, of all things. All right, I'm going to put him back in the water and get him out of here. Golly. Oh, my Lord. Y'all see that? I hope, <laughs> hope y'all did. 27 pounds. It was going back and forth between. Oh, let me turn these off. It was going back and forth between 26, 15. There he goes. Between 26, 15, and 27, and it finally stopped at 27. Golly. He was so big, he didn't put up much, put, put up much of a fight. He was just kind of like, whatever. But anyway, at least y'all got to see me catch him. I thought it, I thought it was two big bull reds. Thing, I'll show you how to do a Palomar, in case you don't know. Basically, there's two ways. You can either pass it through once, or you can put a loop through. But either way, you want to have a loop through your line like that, through your. So let me turn it this way. Maybe be easier for y'all to see. So you want to put a loop. Y'all see that through your thing. And you put an overhand knot, just like you're starting to tie your shoe. So you do an overhand knot, pull that down tight. And then you're going to pass your lure or hook or whatever you're using back through the loop and just pull it tight. Just like that. And that's a non-slip knot. It will not slip. Believe me. You ought to see the monster fish we catch, and I've never had one slip on that. You might have your line break. We stay really busy. Oh, I see him now. We stay really busy fly fishing all during the fall, up until usually the week before Christmas, and then it dies down. But then fly fishing will start back up. Fly fishing will start back up. I think this could be a red, y'all, because he turned and came straight towards my bait. I think it's going to be a red, probably a big red. Let's see. And then, okay, all right, come on, come on, come on. And then fly fish and start back up around March. He is right there, y'all. I think that's a big redfish. It's hard to tell, though, because I thought the other ones were... I thought the other one was a big redfish till he grabbed it and took off with it. He's swimming with it. Y'all ready? Yeah. Oh, he's coming straight towards the boat. He's 
fight like a red. I think this is going to be a giant red. Oh yeah, that's a big old redfish. Golly. He was aggressive, so I figured it was a red. He hit the water, he turned straight towards it. Oh yeah, this is a big old red, y'all. Hope I can get him in the boat for y'all. Big redfish. Big redfish. By the way, go to my website, or our website, clearvisioncharters.com. Book a trip. Go to the YouTube channel, subscribe. It's uh, Clear Vision Charters on YouTube. Oh, I got him. Woo! I don't know about y'all. I'm having fun. Hope y'all having as much fun as I am. There he is. Another big one, y'all. I'm holding it up from my YouTube camera also. Woo! We're gonna let him go. I can measure him. He's probably close to being a bull. I got a measure thing right here. Uh, let's see. Yep. He's just over 27, y'all. So he's just, he's considered a bull, but anyway, I'm gonna let this one go. There he goes. I'm about y'all. I want to catch another one.